So, what is up guys? Today's video is going to be a bit different from what we usually do. Instead of just a fun, entertaining video, today I'm going to be talking about tech. And more specifically, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. And even more specifically, should you upgrade to the Samsung Galaxy Note 4? So, I happen to own a Samsung Galaxy Note 2, which is two generations behind the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, which also happens to mean is two years older from 2012 and two years also happens to be the length of a normal phone contract so which means many people will probably probably be upgrading to a new phone this year because it's been two years so yeah I'm gonna be comparing a bit to the Galaxy Note 2 and yeah so let's get started we are gonna try to get this in one take to make my life easier and yeah, just to make my life easier, people. So, yeah. So, first off, this is not going to be a specs battle. Because specs wars are pretty stupid. For example, you can only compare to the Note 4 to other phones in 2014. But all the specs nowadays are pretty much the same. They all perform the same. If you watch any reviewer, all their conclusions are basically, it performs smoothly, people. Which is pretty stupid. And so yeah, the specs in 2014 are all pretty much the same. And if you're going to compare specs to something from 2012, obvious, obviously it's going to demolish it. So yeah. So we're just going to be talking about the phone in general. So, let's get started. Obviously, the first thing we're going to talk about for the Galaxy Note 4 is the thing that everyone is excited about. It's the build quality! Yay! Because Samsung has finally added metal to their phone. Oh, the Galaxy Note 4. Only the Galaxy Note 4. So, yeah, the only complaint, most people associate Samsung to cheap build qualities, right? So, like, plastic key phones. But now they finally changed that because they have metal in their phone. I guess it's only metal around the, like, outside edge. But, you know, it's better than the plastic. And also, I think they've done something different to the back they've gotten rid of the like fake leather stitching from the Galaxy Note 3 so that's pretty cool but really I thought the Galaxy Note 3 was already miles better than the Galaxy Note 2 because I really really hate the plastic on the Galaxy Note 2 it really really bothers me like my fingerprints get all over it and it smudges and everything so yeah the Galaxy Note 3 was already way better and the Note 4 just goes even further with it so yeah so yeah, I really really love the build quality as does everyone else. So next, we're going to talk about the screen. And the screen is, well, this year everyone is adding 1440p, 1440p, yeah, 1440p displays to phones. So we have the LG G3 with the 2.5K display and now the Note 4. And last year in 2013, it was all about 1080p. And two years before that, which is when the Note 2 came out, 2012, it was 720p. So this Note 2 has 720p, as do most other phones from 2012. Most other phones had 4.7 inch displays. This one is 5.5 inch. But that's not the point. The point is, it was all about 720p in 2012. And then in 2014, when 10, 1080p started becoming standard, everyone was like, wow, it's such a big step up. It's such a great improvement. 720p is totally nothing now compared to 1080p and then well yeah this year it's from 1080p to 2560 by 1440 which is everyone is saying it's not as big as 720p to 1080p but it's still an amazing improvement but the thing is most people who are on a two-year contract they didn't have the chance to go from 720p to 1080p this year they just have to go from 720p right to 1440p which is pretty much like double what most people are experiencing because instead of going in increments from 720p to 1080p to 1440p they're going right from 720p to 1440p so it's double the jump well maybe less than double but still a much bigger jump so yeah I'm not that like crazy about the screen I don't like notice pixels or anything but yeah I guess I won't know the difference until I upgrade right and it's and the panel type uh, AMOLED as Samsung always uses on their displays 
I really don't care whether or not a manufacturer uses IPS or AMOLED. They're both great. They both, as long as they have like good viewing angles and the colors they produce are pretty good, it's fine. As long as it's not washed out, people. So yeah, next up we have camera quality. So, well, the best way I can put this, when the Note 2 came out, all the reviewers were saying that it was the best camera on a smartphone you could get in 2012. So, yeah, I don't. There's no way that Samsung camera quality has gone down, right? It's probably only gone up. So, megapixels. This is eight megapixels. Note 4 is 16 megapixels. I personally am not that crazy about taking photos. I don't take many photos, but I guess if you're into that stuff, sure, it's great for you. But and video. Now they have 4K recording as the I think they had it on the Note 3 too. But I just record at 1080p. I don't really care. But if you care about that, again, it's going to be great for you. The camera quality on Samsung phones are always pretty good. So yeah. Next. What do we have next, people? I guess we'll just talk about some extra stuff now. So we're going to keep this short. I guess the S Pen. I'm just a student, so I don't use the S Pen much. But you know, I guess if you're like an adult, like a businessman or something, it could be really useful for you. And so yeah, there is some functionality, otherwise Samsung wouldn't keep on putting it in, right? And speaker, I've never had a phone with a front-facing speaker, so I don't know what it's like. So I guess right now I'm just used to uh, back-facing speakers, which the Note 2 has. Right there, I cannot see it, it's right here. So yeah. But, you know, if you have an HTC One, you probably shouldn't go to a Note 4 because the speakers are way better on the HTC One, according to everything I hear. So, yeah. And the thing I saved for last, people, the thing that everyone is always talking about, TouchWiz, people. The damn arguments about TouchWiz. TouchWiz, well, I am a guy that I don't really care what skin I use. So yeah, I do, I have used Cyanogen Mod 11 and like stock Android pretty much. And I will say I do prefer stock Android over TouchWiz or any other skins. But all those reviews where they say, when they get to the software section, they say TouchWiz is still TouchWiz people. But that's not true because if you look at the TouchWiz on my Galaxy Note 2 and then you go online and look at TouchWiz nowadays, like the TouchWiz on KitKat, there's a difference, people. It's changed. So, Samsung has been trying to change their software. I guess it's still, like, bubbly and, like, colorful and, like, everything pops out at you. But the point is, TouchWiz is not the same as it was two years ago. And I guess if you absolutely hate TouchWiz, then there's no point. You shouldn't even be clicking on any video that has the word Samsung in the title. Because Samsung phones are going to have TouchWiz. So, if you're going to hate TouchWiz, just don't watch any videos with that has to do with Samsung, people. So, yeah. If you hate TouchWiz, then you won't, you won't be getting the Note 4. So, yeah. That's it. You can't change it. Samsung's always going to have TouchWiz on their phones. HTC is always going to have Sense on their phones. Sony, I don't know what Sony calls theirs. But, yeah. The point is, manufacturers will always have a certain skin on their Android phones. So, conclusion time. Should you get the Galaxy Note 4? Well, people, the choice is really up to you. Which is what every other reviewer is going to say, and I know I absolutely hate those conclusions. So I'm going to give an actual conclusion. I will say, yes, you should upgrade to the Galaxy Note 2. Uh, Galaxy Note 2. Galaxy Note 4. Especially if you have a phone that's from two years ago and your contract's about to end. Like the Galaxy Note 2. And, well, the best way I can put it is, when the Galaxy Note 2 came out, the majority of reviewers concluded that it is the best phone you can buy. And well, the only major gripe I had about the best phone you can buy was the build quality. That's the only thing that really, really bothered me. And well, the Galaxy Note 4 fixes that now, right people? So, if you take the only problem about the best phone you can buy, buy and then you fix the only problem, well, then obviously you end up with a quote unquote better than best phone you can buy. 
So that is exactly what the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 is, people. It is better than the best phone you can buy. And that's why you should upgrade to it, people. Yes, that is my conclusion. And you can quote me on that. Whenever you see one of your friends, you just go up to them and say, the Galaxy Note 4 is better than the best phone you can buy, people. You should just upgrade to it. So yeah, uh, most people, well, a lot of people probably won't listen to my conclusion. They probably don't care. Right? So yeah, I guess in the end it's up to you. But I think you should upgrade to the Galaxy Note 4. I think it's a great deal. Samsung phones are always pr have always been pretty good. And like, obviously they have all their marketing, marketing and stuff that gets everyone into Samsung products. Just like Apple does what they do. So yeah. I guess that's the end of the video. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure you go out and get the better than best phone you can buy. And, bye.